This is an introduction to spleen function and structure. Um, the drawing here is an extremely simplified view. I don't think anyone would ever ask you to draw a detailed uh, a drawing of the spleen because it is very difficult. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of a brief introduction, a very simplified view of what the spleen does. So the spleen is the location where immune responses are mounted against antigens in the blood. Um, and it's also the region where old red blood cells are phagocytosin recycled. And where the spleen is located, it's kind of a, a large oval structure. So I kind of did an oval, not really, but you just think of it like a really large kind of ovular structure here. Um, that's in the left quadrant of your abdominal cavity or your upper, upper abdominal cavity. So it's kind of um, where, where your ribs are in your, your upper left chest or stomach area. Um, and the spleen is just surrounded by a capsule. So this red thing is our capsule here. Let's pretend. So this is, well, like I said, it's, this is a very introductory video of it. So this dark blue vein, or uh, artery, sorry, this is the artery. So I will label that. So artery, the light blue one, is our vein. Okay. Oh, whoops, backwards. Hold on a second. That is backwards. So this one is the vein, and this one is the artery. Okay, so the artery is going to come in here, and it's going to... Um, <clears throat> the interdigitating dendritic cells are trapping blood-borne pathogens that are coming from the artery. So once again, we'll do this in pink. So the blood-borne pathogens are traveling in the artery and they're in here okay you're gonna have dendritic cells right here we just have follicles I drew those in just in case you had to label those but right here we have our blood-borne pathogen okay it's being trapped by dendritic cells now dendritic cells they they trap these antigens and then they pr uh, transport them to what's called the white pulp okay so the white pulp is right here I'm going to just kind of go over this with kind of a gray color. The white pulp, let's just pretend is right here, right? This is all the white pulp area right there. Okay, so that is our white pulp area. And what the white pulp does is it generates a T cell response. Okay, so uh, a T cell and B cell response to the bloodborne pathogen. So T slash B cell response oops response the red pulp which is down here so this is our red pulp which I once again will kind of go over this whole area is our red pulp as I showed before so there's our red pulp um, and what the red pulp is for is for defective old red blood cells and blood pathogens to be phagocytosed by big macrophages. So here's your Pac-Man macrophage eating all of the defective red blood cells and old bloodborne pathogen to get rid of them. Okay, so that is once again a very, very introductory level uh, uh, function and structure of the spleen. Um, I encourage you to look up an image of the spleen so you can see kind of what it actually looks like. And then there are some really good images in immunology textbooks or maybe even a biology textbook, but definitely just Google a picture of the anatomy of a spleen because it might help you out with this image here. But this is more of an introductory video of what the spleen does, once again, at a very basic level, which includes the white pulp, the marginal zone, and the red pulp.